Hey everyone, what's up? Stephen Casey Railfan here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the MRC Tech 6 2.0 sound controller. I believe this is going to be my last review for 2019. There's going to be more reviews coming in 2020, so this is I think this will be my last review ever so for 2019. And probably the first review I did on, on a throttle controller on a controller, so I hear got some good reviews that this is actually really good for those who run DC layouts like I do. So we're going to be taking a look to see what's inside. As you can see, this is what's inside, and then here's the bubble wrap itself with the throttle controller. Let's see. And it's here, right here. So, I'm going to go set this up and then I'll come back to you and then we'll get ready for the review. Alright, now that I got the controller all set up, so basically what you do is, since I'm using Bachman Easy Track, I basically plug in these wires that connect to the terminal re-railer right there. And these are like probably wires you probably from that came with those turnouts. And I just plug it in here. It's a bit loose, so I just make sure I, I just put it in a little bit tight. Just a little tight and this you just connect from here to your wall pack or right here and I connect it to these to these power surges I think that's what they're called you plug it there make your powers on and right now my I'm currently operating on analog DC so right here is my CSX C40-8 Atlas it's an analog DC so I'll show you how it goes see it runs really nice and if you want to change direction, you just press this, and then... It goes like that. And then you just reverse it. So that's basically how you do it with DC, for a DCC ready locomotive. So now let's hop on to these guys, to my Bachman Norfolk Sun Heritage units and see how they run. Alright, now that we got the CSX locomotive off the tracks, because since it's a DCC ready locomotive, and and now and I put the my Bachman Norfolk Sun Heritage units on the tracks, both the Conroe and the Lehigh Valley, so what you want to do is go to mode and then from you're going to go to STD mode to dual mode and the sound and the local mode meter fires up the sound. So let's go to some of the features here. Zero uh, turns on the headlights. Five is basically turns on the ditch lights. As you can see here, so one is the bell. Two is the horn or whistle. And as you know, the, the ditch lights do flash, which is quite typical for Norfolk Southern locomotives. It only flashes for a few seconds and then goes back to normal. So let me just roll it again. Let's see. Three is the short horn. Four is the dynamic braking. And then, as you know, five turns on and off the ditch lights. So. Seven dims the, the headlight. And eight, as you know, mutes the locomotive sounds. So, this is basically the basically the feature you use if you want to run your sound equipped locomotives on your DC layout. I think this is actually really perfect. You can run both DCC and D standard DC mode. 
So I think this is actually a really good system to you for all you can use and and it's not really cheap because I got this for like $84.99 on model train stuff and shit pretty fast and really reliable so after all I would highly recommend getting this if you ever want to run DC C and sound on your layout on your DC layout so that's basically how it is so let me just meet the, meet the logo so as always if you're interested in wanting wanting to start DCC or just basically want some sound equipped lo locomotives in your DC layout, this is what you, you I would recommend. So hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll leave you guys with a run by with the with the NS Heritage units in action. So be on the lookout for that. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time right on my channel. Bye.